life uh, finds a way. Okay guys, we're going to talk about Jurassic World Dominion. My thoughts, my feelings, and why if you're not a huge fan of the series, don't waste your money and don't go see it. Because I was on the fence about it myself because of reviews and stuff, but basically we see Owen, Claire, taking care of Maisie. She feels stuck because she can't go anywhere. She gets kidnapped. They're trying to get her. Dinosaurs are all over the world, which it's her fault, honestly. Maisie, the clone. So yeah, I don't... I, I, I appreciate the thought of trying to protect these animals, but in theory it's cool, but in practice it's like... You do know that a lot of these dinosaurs kill people, right? But yeah. And then the other storyline with our OG characters, Ellie Sadler and Alan Grant, and of course Ian Malcolm. Uh, locusts. Biosyn, Biosyn created dino locusts. Big effing locusts that, will, that would create a famine in the world. And so Ellie and Alan... They all, um, you know, get a sample of the locust and try to save the world. It could have been two movies instead of one. Um, as a humongous Jurassic Park fan of the original series, and, so, and I would say I'm a fan of the first Jurassic World movie, Fallen Kingdom and this one, <sighs> the storylines are way too complicated, and, you know, I, I, I thought I was understanding the clone situation in Fallen Kingdom, I thought that she was cloned from, like, the same way that, I, that the dinosaurs came back. Like, that's what I thought. And then this movie, Dominion, made me think, like, is that, the, is that the case? Like, I understand, like, I feel like there's two minds about these movies. Either you love them because they're Jurassic Park, dinosaurs, awesomeness, like, you know, you went into this expecting action and fun and the OG characters and Owen and Claire and you were like pumped about that and then or you you went in and left disappointed because you were like like you know it was just a, a bunch of stuff thrown in together nonsensical at times but but fun like I mean and there were definitely elements to this movie that I liked Ellie Sadler, Laura Dern, two thumbs up, great performance by her um, and the dinosaurs were cool. I, I just, you know, it's funny. It's, it's, it's honestly what the characters say in these movies. It's just like, why, why make them bigger? Like, I, you know, I'm a fan of raptors. They're my favorite. And T-Rex is like, if you go beyond T-Rex, like, it's just, it's just recipe for disaster. And I can't tell them apart. So it's a whole thing. Um, but yeah, we see Dachshund back from the original movie, which was really cool and interesting. Um, there's a side character, uh, I think her name's Keela or something like that. Um, I watched a review before I saw this movie and they were like glowing about that, about her. And I was just like, I left the movie thinking like she was good, but I wouldn't say, I wouldn't write home about it basically. And yeah, she was, she was good, but not like, oh my God. It's funny, um, apparently there was a rumor that she was gonna come back, uh, Ian Malcolm's daughter in the second Jurassic Park movie. I don't remember her name off the top of my head, of course. Like I, I just looked her up recently, so I know her. Her name is Vanessa Chester. So, but yeah, but apparently that's not the case. So, overall, I didn't hate it. I'm glad I saw it as a Jurassic Park fan, and of course I wanted to see it because I told you guys after um, I saw the trailer that I would go see it, and like I said, I I want to appease you guys. Please, you guys, and I did want to see it, but I was very much on the fence about it. Like, like, I really was, because <laughs> I was like, you know, it's mostly because it was two and a half hours long, and I just, uh, just, I just don't have patience for movies anymore, well, long movies. But, but yeah, um, overall, I'd give it a six. Not horrible, not great. Definitely probably one, but it's probably gonna go down. And I, and like, I, and honestly. It felt like they were trying. The writers were trying to appease. I guess I'm gonna use that word again. The fans so much that they didn't think about how they could make the movie actually 
really good, if that makes sense. Like, they just cared about, you know, paying homage to, like, all these little things that have happened throughout the series and, like, putting all the original characters together with all the new characters. And it's just, and I get it. And in some ways, my, my in some ways, I think if I saw the movie again, I probably would be like, okay. But yeah, they definitely could have made this into two movies, which I think would have been a lot more digest digestible and less convoluted. Um, but as a fan, like I said, the dinosaurs were cool. Uh, the little blues little raptor was really cute, especially when he was on Owen's back later in the movie. That was really cute. Like I was like as I was watching that scene, I was like, I would I would pay big bucks for a backpack that looks like that dinosaur on the back of your like that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, as convoluted as it was, I didn't hate it. Let me know what you guys think about this movie. Are you, have you seen it? Are you going to see it? Are you a fan? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more from me, Sarah D. And yeah, peace.